Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. Um, I decided it was time to um, take an inventory of my sergeant block planes and I was going to bring them to my shop and oil them up and you know make sure everything was was there and see which ones I was missing because it's um, the start of the uh, flea market season and I haven't been for a couple years since COVID, but this year I'm hoping to, to get out and start looking for some more treasures. And I figured if um, it would be a good time to give you guys a preview or a walk through um, what I have and what I'm missing and show you some interesting stuff like I did with the uh, the number 400 movable tote a um, couple of quick plugs um, I use obviously my sergeant uh, hand plane reference guide quite a bit I don't have the memory that I used to so I, I'm in that book quite often I've uh, been taking some notes so I can carry this with me so I know what I've got I can't remember it all um, so for you guys that don't hit flea markets and still want to track your inventory, I've also published this for you in the in the bigger size, the regular legal, the, the letter size book. Um, I actually started this because of just that. I was trying to figure out a way to keep track of my inventory and still have it with me. And I figured if um, I needed to do that, other people would too. Um, so feel free to give me a shout if you can't find them on Amazon. Uh, I have a few in stock, but I'm not keeping as many in stock anymore. Um, so we'll take a, a walk through some of these block planes and and talk about them, and and I hope uh, hope you find it interesting. Thanks. So we'll start with just a quick pass. Um, as you can see, I'm already missing a 104 there. Um, but this is a this is kind of a quick shot of of what I have. Actually thinking I'm gonna keep this video on my phone too because it'll kind of help when I'm out there at the flea markets um, looking through stuff so we'll take a, a quick look um, so the 105 is just a cute little squirrel tail pretty similar to to most of the squirrel tails you see out there not much different And this is pretty much the same all the way through their production. They didn't change much. We go to the 106. This is where it gets a little more interesting. This is a Type 1. The Type 1 was only made around for about one year in 1887. Um, as you can see, it's got this lever in the back. Um, and the other unique thing about the, the Type 1 is, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually got Sergeant and Company behind the little finger groove there. Type 2, quite a bit more common, is the, uh, the gull wing. Uh, you turn this and loosen it to, to take this out. Everything else is basically the same. They removed this um, sergeant and company from the from the toe. But you will find every once in a while you'll find one that has the gull wing with the um, the sergeant and company. That's not too uncommon. 
And of course the last type is this one. These are, are pretty common. And these are pretty nice, um, pretty nice apron planes. Next up is the 107. I don't have the early type of the 107, but um, again, it has the the same lever for a Type One, and it went to a gull wing, um, and then this last type here with the wheel. Um, so that's basically the same. This is a 206. This has got to be easily my favorite um, apron plane of, of all, all kinds. Um, it, unlike uh, a lot of them, it has uh, the adjuster like this. Um, again, the, the Type 1 would have the the lever. This is the type two, um, and the more and most common is the type three. I used one of these for a long time um, as an apron plane until I found this one. This is a again the type the type two with the going, but as you can see, it says sergeant, and this is actually the actual plane that is on the face of the sergeant hand plane reference guide you know this one doesn't have a tag because this is my daily user I use this and the reason I'm, I don't mind using it as you can see it came to me broke here um, and this is easily my favorite apron plane I love using this I use it a lot for for making arrow shafts and doing that kind of work it's a great little plane Next up we have the 207. I do have a Type 1 207. You can see it has the uh, the lever. Hmm, didn't know that was coming off. We'll just leave that right there like that. I'm not even going to bother trying to fix that. Um, you see it has a 207 in the in the front. The adjuster. So that is the type one. Type two went to the wheel like this. 207 didn't have the, the gull wing. Um, went right to the wheel. These are, are I guess you could say similar to the Stanley 220. And the last type is the, the newer and the typical um, lever on the top for the Sergeant 207. Um, and this was, this became kind of standard for most of their planes moving forward. The 208. This started in 1910, so it went pretty much all the way through from, let's see, 1910 to 1944. Very similar, not much changes. You'll see a little change in the, um, the knob. I'm thinking this was earlier, but I, I don't, don't hold me to that. I don't really have any proof of that. That's just kind of a, a gut feeling. I don't, I don't know. 227, um, typical double ended, same as uh, same as a Stanley, but this is an earlier one. You can see by the logo on the iron. And the 217, again, all with um, with the knob on the front. 
This is the, the last type. Next up, I'll take a look at the 306. This is probably one of the most common planes of the 306, but this one is the Type 1. Um, again, this the 306 came with the, the lever cap, the lever under the cap. Um, again, only around 1877, um, only for one year. Did have the adjustable mouth. This is a, a pretty, pretty handy plane. Um, type two, as you can see, we've got quite a few of these. They're fairly common for sergeant planes. Um, wheel under the cap. It's um, it's a nice, nice user plane. Um, and like I said, somewhat common. And this is the Type 3, the last type, again, with the lever on top um, that Sergeant went to. If you're not familiar with Sergeant, you'll see that um, we have this different type of, of adjuster here. And this is on all of the, with the with the adjustable mouth, this is on all of the later, later ones, um, earlier ones. Um, you see that doesn't have the cam. And notice that earlier, the earlier plan planes have um, this style. And as they get later, we do see this style. Although this is the anomaly, right? So, which is something you tend to see more in sergeant planes even than, than the others is there's a, there's a lot of anomalies within, within the types. Um, 307, same basically except it's an inch longer. Um, type 1, right up through to... The last one. This one is actually a Firestone, um, but it is the same. You can see it later, so it has steel here, probably wartime maybe. 316. These are pretty, pretty cool. Um, nice collector piece. Again, this Type 1 would have the, the lever underneath, but, um, and I don't have one, love to find one, hopefully I will someday, type 2 here, and then last type, um, we switch to the, to the cam above, again, these are pretty cool, I think. Notice the later ones have, I don't know if you can see, but it's got the number in it on the plane, on the blade. Now we're going to move along to the 507. 507 is, is um, a rabbit or rebate plane, um, however you want to say that. Um, these are, are pretty nice user planes. This is actually the only one that I know of that um, Leon Nielsen actually copied. Um, you find them quite a bit um, broke. I actually have one here that I welded. Um, and it's fairly flat. It will make someone a, a user plane if they have one that's broke and need one. I'll See that I get this to someone that needs it someday. Um, 607. So as you can see, I've got some notes here because I just can't remember all this. And you find even more information in my book. But So the 606, 607 were, were very similar to this. Um, just an inch longer. 
Um, the 1606 and 1607 were like this, except um, they were nickel plated and a little smaller. This is a 1606, but this this poor thing's had a rough life. The uh, adjuster is stripped, and as you can probably see there, the cam is broke. And because they're narrower, I'm having a fairly tough time finding parts for it. Um, but I'll keep it around and until I do. 2204. This is an interesting plane. I never really found out for sure if it came in a kid's toy box or toy, but it works somewhat. Um, and you see it in all different kinds of uh, configurations. Some of them, I'm not even sure that Sargent actually made them, but they're definitely knockoff if they didn't. 4306. This is known as the page patent cap. Um, fairly hard to find. Not too many of them around, although they wouldn't call them rare. This is the type one. Um, I have two of them, but this one, as you can see, they had a weak spot right there. And you'll often find them broke. Um, Patents in the on the back. Again, interesting plane. Um, they switched to to this cap, uh, the knuckle cap. If you like knuckle caps, you probably will like these. Um, pretty cool design, I think. Um, I definitely like the adjuster on the Stanley better, or on the Sergeant better than the Stanley, but uh, who uses the adjuster much, right? 5607, kind of a somewhat rare low angle, often found uh, broke because they are the low angle. Um, these were made 26 to 50, 1926 to 1950. The book actually says they're nickel plated, but as you can see, this one is is nitrate uh, coated. Um, and we'll move on to the 5206. Another kind of interesting plane. Um, this is a Type 1. Notice the knobs on the front. Here's the later type. Um, there's many different configurations of these two. Notice the Type 1 doesn't have the groove all the way through the blade. It has got grooves in the back. These are actually halfway decent users once you get them uh, sharpened up. Um, the later type puts the puts the finger knob back here. Fifty three oh seven. Um, again, knuckle knuckle cap. Not uh, anything uh, too unique about them. They're a good user if you like the knuckle cap again. This one I actually got lucky enough to find in the box. Here's a broken one. If you can see, I uh, made a display to show the what it looks like in the interior. And then we got the little thumb planes. And again, these come in different variations and Miller's Falls makes one almost identical kind of hard to tell them apart if they don't happen to have a have a name and the blade and this one does so I know pretty sure that one's a sergeant it's got the the BL and 
these are sold a lot by uh, craftsmen as well um, matter of fact the gray one might actually be a craftsman I don't know uh, no mark so still might have been a craftsman but that's it for today that's all I got hope you enjoyed this um, I'm gonna go start oiling and cleaning up these and the ones that are stay in my shop will stay in my shop and the other ones will go back into my display room. Again, thanks for watching.